Okay, um, so what we're going to do, we're going to adjust, just ignore this wire, your chair is not going to have that. We're going to adjust the height of these armrests. And there's a few different factors involved in this. On these chairs, you have these two, these two struts here on the back, and these are what change the angle. If I can reach it. Those are what adjust the angle of your armrests by adjusting these. But when you change your seating height, you're gonna have to adjust these as well, otherwise your armrests are gonna go something like that. And yeah, it's gonna be all weird. Now, it is possible to do this while someone's sitting in the chair. Um, it's best if they can make sure their elbows are not on the armrest while you're doing it. I was gonna show and use the, the Allen wrench that is right here normally. But as you can see, it's missing on this chair. And I don't have another one here, so I'm just gonna grab my tools. All right, so if we look at the back of the chair here, there are four screws here, here, here and here. There's these two, which we're gonna leave alone for right now, but to adjust the height of your armrests, you need to loosen, not remove, but just loosen these four hex screws. Now, most things on these chairs are metric, so this is a five millimeter T-handle, and we're just gonna break these loose a little bit here. Just give them like maybe one or two turns, just enough so they, uh, err so they're not gonna bind. And they may sound like breaking a little bit. Uh, don't back them out too far because then your T-nets inside this track are gonna slide down here into the nether regions and you're gonna have to screw around with that and we don't wanna do that. Okay, now these are loose. If you notice, the armrests are now all wobbly. See how this whole assembly now like moves around and stuff? This is why if someone is sitting in the chair when you're doing this, you wanna make sure their elbows are not on the armrests. There is sort of a built-in height gauge here on the back. You can see we are set to four right now, and then there's different numbers that go up and down. I'm not sure if those reference any sort of actual measurement that exists in the real world or just like a reference point. But what we're gonna do is there is one more Allen screw up here. You can see it down in this little hole here. Now, normally you would use your long Allen wrench if you want. That way you can sort of hold it up here and get out of the way of everything. But for this, I'm gonna have to remove the headrest because this is going to... Why is that so tight? Huh. Um, this is gonna interfere. <clears throat> okay, that's a lot of work. This is gonna interfere a little bit. So anyways, what we do now is basically turn this screw and you turn it clockwise to raise them, counterclockwise to lower them. Uh, you can just see there's a, a giant piece of all thread rod. Where is it? Ah, there it is. That goes down here and into the back of the chair and connects to this mechanism and raises up and down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and raise these up a little bit. I'm gonna make a note here, it's set at four because I wanna put this back when I'm done. I don't actually need to adjust this, I'm just kinda showing you guys how to do it. So. We're gonna turn this screw here. Oh, the other thing I mentioned first, you want to loosen up these little retainers here on each of these arms that adjust the angle of your armrests. You wanna make sure these are loose so that you can rotate these freely. So you can use a end wrench or adjustable wrench and there's two little flat spots on each side. Now the thing to remember is two of these are gonna be reverse thread. Uh, so if you're trying to loosen it and it's not loosening, turn it the other way. These should require almost no force. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. All right, now we can freely rotate these. Okay, we're gonna turn this screw now. And the thing to remember as you're raising and lowering this, you're kind of fighting the angle of your armrests. And also sometimes this whole assembly, since it's loose, can kind of get jammed a little bit. So if you want to raise them up, what I recommend doing is lowering, you twist, uh, twist these little bars here to lower the angle of your armrest. You'll see this go down. So just turn these so that both armrests go down a little ways. And then as we turn this top screw, it's gonna sort of raise those, um, it's gonna raise the whole mechanism, but also the angle is gonna change a little bit. So, 
the screw is a little bit stripped. So anyways, we're gonna turn this. And you should be able to see the armrests are going up and also their angle is changing. And like I was saying, you're gonna wanna sort of jiggle this occasionally because sometimes this will get bound up while you're adjusting it. Okay, there we go. And this, this little indicator number down here is not not exquisitely reliable. It's sort of attached to this cover, and on my chair this cover's broken. Um, there's supposed to be screws that go in here, but yeah, so like I was saying, if someone's sitting in the chair, just make sure their elbows are not on the armrests, and then when you make your adjustment, you can have them put their elbows out and then uh, see if it's in the right position. And then once you get your armrests high enough, uh, basically if the person's been sitting in the chair and you've determined that if they are the right height, what you want to do is sort of eyeball this whole mechanism from the back here. As you can see, it's all really loose and moves around. So you're going to want to make sure that before you tighten up these four bolts, that this whole setup is pretty much level. It should be, but if you notice when I push down on this side, on this side, you can see the joystick over there moving. And since there is more weight on the joystick side, it is very probable that the armrests are gonna be leaning down over there. Let me pull this over and I'll show you. There you can see across both the armrests here. Check it out. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that when you tighten down the bolts, this side's not way down and this side's way up. Um, you wanna just kind of figure out what the total range of movement is and then sort of put it in the middle. And if you're sighting across the back of this thing, you can actually see that fairly easily. Now again on this chair, this back cover is broken, so you can't really use that as a visual reference, but um, we'll just kind of figure out, that looks about right there. And then uh, you can tighten up these screws here. And you don't want to tighten them all at once as tight as they'll go. Uh, just go around in a couple, uh, take a couple laps basically, and tighten them down as you go around a couple of times. Uh, again, just to make sure if things are binding or whatever, you're not gonna break stuff. Okay, there we go. Now you can see everything's good and solid again. They don't move around. Now that our height has been adjusted, however, um, no doubt the angle of these things is not gonna be correct. And that's where twisting these little giant, little giant, <laughs> that's where twisting these turnbuckles on the back is going to adjust them. So as you can see, if I turn this, the armrest goes down. And if I turn it the other way, it goes up. So essentially, you want to have the person sitting in the chair, figure out the angle you want on this, and you can twist this. There is a small hole in the turnbuckle, as you can see right here. Um, in theory, you could put a screwdriver through there to assist turning this, but I don't recommend doing that. You shouldn't have your arms on here and you should be helping this up as you're making your adjustment because these will, this whole thing here will strip out very easily and you don't want that to happen because then you'll have to buy new parts and order stuff from Permobile and that's a pain. Not that ordering from Permobile is a pain, it's just you're gonna have to wait a while before you can get the thing running again. So don't want that. So now you can go around and tighten up these little retaining clips here. Just basically run them up by hand. And then use your end wrench. I think it's half inch uh, end wrench or what, 13 millimeter or something. I Don't quote me on that. I just use this wrench because, you know, it's easier and stuff. But you want to just grab this and lightly snug it up. You don't want to reef on this thing because it will strip out. And again, you don't want all these parts stripping out. And just remember, uh, some of them are reverse thread, which I think the bottom ones are reverse thread. Uh, so yeah, anyways, there we go, that's loose. And it doesn't hurt to check these every so often as you're using your chair anyways, because a lot of times these things will rattle loose and uh, then your armrest can kind of go all over the place. So 